Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Dave. The purpose of today's video is to go over just how much the old girl has cost me over the last four years. Now I've done a very similar video at the end of two years and at the end of three years. So now we're gonna go over just how much uh, my C5 Corvette has cost me over four years. Now, if you're new to the channel, this is my 2004 C5 Corvette. So if you're in the Corvette content, especially C5 content, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And just like in previous videos, I'm going to give you every single penny that I've paid for this car over the last four years. Because as you know, this is my second car. My primary car is a Ram 1500. So this is kind of like my nice weather car, even though I do drive it pretty much almost every day to work um, when the weather is nice. Now, even though I drive every day to work, my commute to work is only 15 miles round trip so it's not like I'm putting a tons of miles on the car which you'll find out in a very quick minute as to how many miles I've actually put on the car in the last year so of course some of the things like insurance and registration those are gonna be the same for every car but again I'm just gonna include those in the cost because this is my second car this isn't a car that I really need but it's definitely a car I want and just don't tell my wife now the price that I'm gonna give you today is not gonna include a lot of things that I've already done prior to this past year so like the Blackwing air filter, the headers, the full exhaust that I've done to the car with the billy boat in the back, Texas Speed X pipe, Texas Speed headers, new plugs, new wires. So things like that are not, they've already been included in the number that I'm gonna give you. So if you watch my three year video, the total cost after three years was $9,650. Now that included $1,500 of depreciation. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take that 1500 off and then that will make it 8150 as a starting point going into year four of ownership. So some of those boring things which are typical for owning any car is registration. Here in New Jersey, registration costs you $50 for the year. As far as gas goes, I put about 3,500 miles on the car this year at 290 a gallon. I'm doing a little bit of rounding that rounds out to about $500 in fuel cost. Oil change, I do do my own oil changes as you've seen on the channel. Those oil changes cost me about $45 per oil change. As far as insurance goes, I did put out a video about two years ago just saying how much I pay in insurance. That's about $310 every six months, so $620 for the year. Now instead of saying after every single thing that I show you that I have a video on it, I have a video on every single thing that I've done to the car. So if you have any questions on where I got these things or how you install them or anything like that, go ahead, check out my channel. You'll see a video on every aspect of this car. So starting off on the doors, the door plugs got those off Amazon they were six dollars a piece I had to replace both doors so that was twelve dollars for these door plugs the performance hood seal I got this off zip Corvette for sixteen dollars now I did get that on a Black Friday deal but I'm just still gonna include the sixteen dollars now does it actually add anything performance wise that I'm not gonna debate or anything like that the main reason why I got it was just to keep dirt off of my black filter sticking with the front of the car I did do the new letters on the front as well as the blackout kit for the badges now the front bumper letters were $19 but that included both the front and the rear but you'll see that I only did these are more like flush mounted with the panel so I only did the front and those were at $19 and the blackout kit again was another $19 got that off zip Corvette and again there was a little Black Friday deal so I did get it cheaper but I'm gonna include that for $19 now at the rear of the car these are the rear letters that I put in these are like a 3d acrylic so they do stick out a little bit beyond the panel so that's why these are different than the front and these were $25 just for the rear 3d letters sticking with the back of the car I did pick up this uh spoiler king spoiler i did pick this up on black friday but i finally put it on uh this year and again that was a black friday deal that was 78 dollars but you can still buy this spoiler off ebay for 103 dollars the third brake light i did get a new third brake light that was 36 dollars the halo tail lights were i got these off of a subscriber rico appreciate it thank you very much these were, I bought them off him, including shipping, was 160 bucks. These are the standard ones. These are not modified. I hope to modify these uh, coming up pretty soon. Now the tint for these, I got just bought like, you know, some vivid vinyl tint. That was $13, but this tint tinted obviously all four of these. It tinted the rear side marker as well as the new front corner lights that I picked up. And then also these front corner lights were $49. And then included in here is a switchback. 
which was $21. And then also in the corner light is a 194 on the side bulb is a 194 LED. So I replaced these two, one on each side, as well as the side marker on the back. These were also the 194 bulb. So picked up a pack of those for $13. And then along with the front, I replaced my fog light. Uh, I did have a yellow fog light change those out to white and those new fog lights were $25 and then so you don't have any issues with hyper flash when you go to LED corner lights and the LED tail lights I did put in a hyper flash harness which goes right up in here and that harness was $45 now I'm not much of an engine dress up guy but I did pick up these fuel rail letter kit um, and these were $55 and I did clean my black wing filter not too long ago and that cleaning filter kit was $21. One thing that I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do with yet are the wheels. Now, just to go along with the whole black and yellow theme, all I did was just Plasti Dip the stock polished aluminum wheels, and Plasti Dip is relatively cheap. It was uh, $6 per can, so $24. And then I also picked up some new black lug nuts. These lug nuts were $35. And then the last thing I picked up to hopefully keep my baby looking pretty good during the winter months is a new car cover. Picked this up from Covercraft. This is the NOAA car cover. That was $250. Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, we took off the depreciation after year three. We're gonna have to now put that depreciation back in because unfortunately every car depreciates. Now, this year was a little bit of a heavy hit. I don't know if that's just because it's the time of year that it is. Typically, especially up here in the Northeast, uh, winter months, you know, sports cars like the Corvette and other, you know, sports cars that are pretty much driven uh, only six to eight months out of the year up here, um, they tend to go down in price during the winter time, which is why I bought this car initially in the winter time. So I bought this car for fifteen thousand five hundred. I was just on Kelly Blue Book for a private sale, and unfortunately now, if I wanted to sell it now, a fair deal on a private sale is thirteen thousand with this car having about 57,500 miles on the clock. And I'm not including any of the, you know, performance upgrades because those, you know, you don't really get your money back on performance upgrades. So now once you total in all that that I just talked about, it comes out to about $12,800 that this Corvette has cost me over the last four years. Now I initially bought it for 15,500, like I just mentioned, and including everything, sales tax on in the very beginning when i bought the car maintenance all the modifications insurance registration oil changes gas everything all in this car has cost me twelve thousand eight hundred dollars so that's gonna do it for today's video like i just showed you it was twelve thousand eight hundred dollars that this car has cost me with everything that i've done with it over the last four years but if you're just buying a corvette and you're not really going to modify it all you just want to drive it and enjoy it for four years and when you do that comparison with other cars, you know, every car is going to have registration. You're going to go through fuel, insurance, and all that good stuff. Um, the car is only, then, would only cost you $2,500 in depreciation. Now, of course, I bought this car four years ago. Nowadays, if you bought it for, like I just said, $13,000 in the next four years, what is it going to depreciate to after you put on almost 20,000 miles? Maybe 10,000, 11,000? I don't really know. Only time will tell. But, you know, these cars are so attainable, and that's why so many channels are now picking up a C5 Corvette, because it's so cheap, you can have a lot of fun with it, you get a lot of bang for your buck, and you're not going to lose your shirt when you try to sell this thing after only a few years. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Thank you, and have a great day.